Hello, let's discuss how our Adobe Commerce Cloud database is set up, how we can update a version of MySQL, change disk size, and in the end I will also cover how to connect to our environment's database. Alright, so let's switch to our project and as explained in the video about the project structure, um, we have different configuration files that configure different parts of our system. And to set up or to update MySQL service, we need to go to the magento and services.yam file. And in this file, we define all the services supported and used by Adobe Commerce in the Adobe Commerce Cloud. And here we already have three services defined, MySQL, Redis and OpenSearch. And those are configured out of the box as they are required to proper functioning of our stores. Except this, we can configure two more, Elasticsearch and RabbitMQ, and everything is actually well explained in the documentation page, um, configure services. So here we can see that we have like uh, Elasticsearch, MySQL, OpenSearch, RabbitMQ and Redis services available for us. And if you are interested how to, for example, configure Redis or install RabbitMQ, you can just check it out. And also, if you are interested in finding like the requirements, what version of RabbitMQ to use or what version of MySQL to use in a, uh, for example, Adobe Commerce 2.4.6, you can go to the system requirements page and here you have the list of requirements. So for example, on the 2.4.6 P3 Adobe Commerce, we need to use, for example, OpenSearch with the version uh, 2.5. Like this is the supported version of OpenSearch. So if you are interested in it, you can find link to those two pages in the um, description of this video. And let's back to our project again. And when it comes to MySQL, the MySQL service provides persistent data storage based on MariaDB. At the moment, the 10.6 version is the uh, latest supported, so we cannot update it for now. We have other field called disk and right now it is configured for 5 gigabytes for the MySQL service. Uh, so of course this can be changed and there is also a configuration field um, that is used if your project requires some specific configurations for MySQL service. And if you are interested in finding more, you can refer to the documentation page for MySQL service. Here you can find all of the require information about this field, like what are the possibilities, what we can configure here. So we will not go over it um, right now. If you need, please refer to this documentation page. And one important note here, if you are changing anything here uh, and you want to apply these changes on staging and production environment, keep in mind to create a support ticket before. On integration environment, it's not mandatory. Uh, if you like change this configuration, it should be automatically handled by Adobe Commerce Cloud when you commit and push the changes. But uh, on the infrastructure as a service environments, which is staging and production, um, you should firstly create a ticket for support, let them know that on this environment you want to um, do this change, uh, also like include what change are we going to do uh, to help them like prepare. So please remember that, uh, always create a ticket for infrastructure as a service environment. Except the service YAM file, we also have a Magento app YAM file configuration where relationships are configured between our Adobe Commerce and services. So therefore, if you configure a new service in the services YAM file, you also need to configure it here in the relationships map. On the left, you define the name of the relationship as it will be exposed to the application in the environment variable. And in the right hand side, you define the service name and endpoint name. So here is our MySQL configured and also in our documentation page, if we go back uh, to the beginning of this page here, you, you first need to configure it Magento service YAML file, and then you need to add it to the uh, relationship section in the Magento app YAML file. And then you basically just add this uh, commit and push it and this configuration will be applied. So of course it's already done out of the box because database Redis and open search are required um, to proper functioning of our Adobe Commerce instances, so we don't need to do anything. But in case of 
um, Elasticsearch, which actually is deprecated and right now we all use OpenSearch, but in case you want to configure RabbitMQ, we'll actually do it in uh, some of later videos, um, but uh, you need to remember to configure it also here. And there is a great command called Magento Cloud Relationships that can print all the necessary information about the services connected to our environment. So let's uh, go to our shell and here you can notice that I'm in the feature XYZ Git branch, which is our environment also. And let's type Magento Cloud Relationships help. So this is our, um, like this is the command that show an environment relationships. So if we simply specify Magento Cloud Relationships, this will print all the necessary information for this environment, but also we can specify like the name of other environments that we want to check, or we can even specify like a property that we want to check for a specific environment. So let's actually type simply relationships, and this will print all the necessary information like how to connect to our database for the feature XYZ environment. So how we can actually connect to our database instance for feature XYZ environment, we have a couple of options here. The most basic one is to connect firstly through SSH to our uh, environment server and run MySQL command. Um, the second option is to use Magento Cloud DB SQL command. And the third one is actually to use some uh, database management tool like for example, Table Plus and actually I love table plus, so we will try to use table plus for our purpose. So let's actually try connecting firstly to Magento Cloud SSH and uh, we can use the Magento Cloud relationships command to get all of the necessary information to connect to MySQL. I already taken it, so we can just simply paste it here. So um, the host is database internal and user is simply user, there is no password. So if I type in it, I will be able to connect without any issue to our MySQL instance. So this is the first uh, way to do it. Uh, let's uh, disconnect from the server. And the second option would be to use Magento Cloud DB SQL. And let's actually maybe see the list of all the comments. And here is the DB section. So we have three comments here, DB dump. So we can create a dump of our database. We can use a DB size to estimate the disk usage of the database and DB SQL, so run SQL on the remote database. So uh, instead of going to SSH and running, checking the credentials and uh, using the MySQL commands, we can simply use the DB SQL. And simply by that, by using the SSH tunnel that is done already in the Magento Cloud CLI, we are connected to our feature XYZ database. And of course, it's not entirely efficient to use the MySQL console from the shell. We can use it for a simple task, but when we want to uh, analyze data, like investigate some issues, it's actually better to use some database management tool. So that's why let's actually try to do it right now. So I have a table plus open here and here we let's create a new connection. Uh, this will be MySQL, let's create. And now we need to define the like the name so it will be feature xyz that actually is pretty simple and uh, for the rest we need to configure it over ssh so let's click on it and to find out what's the ssh firstly let's use the magento cloud ssh uh, pipe this will print the url of our uh, environment SSH. So this is user, right? So let's type it here, user. The host um, server, it's um, the second part of this URL. And uh, we don't use password, we use SSH key. So I need to import private key first. So I need to define the private key, which is IDRSA for me. So with that, let's test. And we were able to connect correctly to SSH. Uh, but now we need to also define the configuration for database. And our database credentials can be taken from the relationships command. So let's run it again, uh, Magento Cloud Relationships. And here is the, um, all the necessary uh, credentials. So let's get back. Host is database internal. User name is actually user. There is no password setup, and uh, we don't need to specify database, but this will be main so let's try to connect to it test everything is green 
So this means that we successfully connected. So let's actually maybe save it and let's actually connect to it. Yeah, we are in. Let's see, core config data. This is feature XYZ environment. All right, so we know how to connect to our database with different approaches. Let's now check the other Magento Cloud commands like DB size and DB dump. So if we uh, run DB size, this will give us some information about the allocated disk size and estimated usage. So exactly we have five gigabytes. That is the configuration options that we saw in the services YAML file. The estimated usage is 2.7 gigabytes, which is actually 50% um, of storage used. We can use the help option to see other like um, parameter, parameters for this command. And one useful, there is this cleanup option. So if we run Magento DB size cleanup, we will be able to get some um, recommendations like what tables to clean or maybe optimize some tables. So for example, here you can save space by running the following comments during a maintenance window. So we will not do it right now, but please um, remember that there is something like that. Maybe this will be useful in some time. And the last comment, which is DB dump. And uh, this is the comment that is very useful to create dumps of our databases. And so we can actually run Magento Cloud DB dump help to see the options. And uh, here is the um, how to create an SQL dump. We can use the gzip options to create a compressed file. We have some other parameters like schema to define a schema to dump, uh, the name of a file, custom directory, tables that we want to include or exclude, uh, or we can only dump the schema, no data. So um, use this command to dump your database. It is very simple to do it and you don't need to like connect to SSH and then run the MySQL dump. You can simply do it by using Magento Cloud uh, CLI. So let's actually try maybe to do it. Let's copy this and let's paste it. So this will take a couple of seconds uh, or maybe minutes depending on the size of the database. Uh, but here there is a message that the uh, SQL dump file will be created in this directory. So after it's done, we will be able to import this database dump in our local database. And it's actually already done. Last but not least, let's change the environment to production. And as you remember, production is infrastructure as a service environment, right? And if we run Magento Cloud relationships here, we will, we will see that we don't only have the database MySQL service, but there is also a MySQL slave or to be politically correct, MySQL secondary instance. And this instance helps to reduce the load on the main database. And also there is the same for Redis. So there will be a dedicated video for a database slave and a Redis slave. So we will actually tackle the configuration of it for the infrastructure as a service environments in those videos. Um, I just wanted to show you um, that there is something like that, configure it and ready to use. So this is actually great for production environment because this can help us to reduce the load on the main database. And this comes out of the box with Adobe Commerce Cloud. We don't need to configure anything. That's really awesome. All right, and I believe that would be actually all. So in this video, we saw how to configure MySQL service in Adobe Commerce Cloud projects. We saw how to leverage the Magento Cloud CLI to work with our database um, services. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.